What's up guys, Martinez just released new rapid squares with a vial, but if you have the old signature series rapid squares without the vial, you can now upgrade them with a new heel. And I uh, just got my new heel in and we're gonna go and we're gonna upgrade this signature series and turning it into a two in one signature series rapid square. So let's get on to it and see what we got inside. Okay, let's get on in. Hopefully you were able to grab one of these. They were in limited quantities, available in red, black, orange, blue, and uh, gold, I believe. And uh, yeah, awesome to grab one of these. Let's see what we have inside here. If you go to their front page, you just gotta scroll down into this series, um, signature series, Speed Square. And in the description of the Speed Square, you will find the option for uh, just a little paragraph down below and the option to select one of these. And um, I believe it shows they are all on back order. Hopefully you can grab one in back order and still able to get one. I jumped on it really quick and uh, Definitely was fortunate to grab one of these. Looks like they have one screw in here. And the rest should be in here. Let's see here. Yes, so we have the vial and the rest of the screw is in here. Looks like some stoppers too. This is the level and vial ball assembly. Pretty cool. Nice heavy duty Ziploc bag here. So these vials are also made in USA. They are made from the Johnson Level and Tool Manufacturing Company. Very fine quality vials. So let's um, get this ready to be assembled and disassemble the Series 1 Red-Headed Stepchild vial here. Okay, so if you're wondering why this is so new, I just got this. So I was using this Empire Rapid Square before uh, when I was building my tool shed. Awesome tool to have. And uh, you'll notice that the etchings, you, know, you can't even feel them. This is just a shiny glare. These are deep laser etched with a tumbled matte surface finish right here so you're not going to have the glare and these deep etched markings will last for a long time so made in usa this is also made in usa but uh this is some fine quality made in usa goodness right here i was also using this uh made in usa empire level along with it and uh we're gonna have an all together in one unit here which is nice the uh, original was the titanium one, I believe, with a vial inside of it. So it's derived from the original titanium version. And uh, by, backed by popular demand, we're going to have the signature series with a vial in it. So you can get them complete. Or if you have this unit, we're going to upgrade it. The screws right here, I believe they are 5 30 seconds or 4 millimeter. We're going to be using a 5 30 seconds Allen here to remove the screws and yeah, super tight. Let's remove all of them. Alrighty, screws are out. And before we remove this plate on this side, I want you to take a look at the right side here. The right side is bigger than the left side. So just in case if uh, you get things confused, this video is good right now. So you can reference to that the right side is bigger than the left side. So now let's remove the right side and put it aside right here and remove the left side. And there's your blank. So let's put the old heel over here. And now let's take the new heel. I remove the screw, the new heel separated now and 
as you can see, the big side is also on the right. So let's take the right side over here. And this is the left side. And we're gonna put the left side in right here. And before we put the right side in, these uh, balls right here, fortunately they give you three of them just in case you lose one of them. These are some little rubber balls to hold the vial. Oh, see, already lost one. So let's grab the third one here. Put it right there. So two rubber balls are inside the left piece right here. Okay, so now let's grab the vial. Stick the vial in there. No grooves on the vial, so it just goes right on in. There's no side to it, so it just sets it in either way. And then we put the right side right on there. And as you can see, there is a little bit of cushion there from the balls. So I would love to start in the middle where the vial is and then work its way out with the new screws here. And before we put the screws in, I am a fan of Loctite. This is red Loctite. Uh, blue Loctite is more preferable. So if you're using red, just put a tiny bit amount of red on there. Just a tiny drop. You don't want to put too much on there. So let's put some Loctite on each one. All right, so with just a tiny little bit of Loctite on each one, we're gonna start these off just enough to where they're just touching. And um, I would start from the inside. So let's start these two middle ones first. And just to where they touch, you don't wanna crush that vial. Let's do these two first. Just, just slightly so where it touches right there. And then go back. Just, just a tiny little snug. And let's go over with this one over here. All right, so just, just touching right there. Just touching right here. Let's go back to these two. See, these two will now go down. And then just lightly, do not, do not go too far on these because you do not want to crush that vial. And then just alternate, keep alternating back and forth the outers and then go back to the inners. So there we go. We're not moving much now. Okay, as we can see, it is getting more flush and there's not much play at all. And keep an eye on that vial. Make sure there's no crushing going on. Looks safe. So now we can keep continuing and snugging these down. Middle and then outer. Feels like they are sort of bottoming out here. So you'll still continue to feel them loosening up. And then now we can start going a little bit stronger here. They're quite tight on the old one. So yes, I can feel them bottoming out. When in doubt, I'd say uh, no more than 10 foot pounds if you have a torque wrench. Uh, I am a seasoned mechanic, so I know by memory <laughs> what this is supposed to be. 10 foot pounds is pretty quite nominal for this. And I have quite a feel for different types of metal here. So yes, I can feel the bottom out and 
the Loctite will hold the rest in for a long time and many, many falls. Yeah. 15 foot pounds would definitely be a lot. Yeah, so 10 foot pounds is nominal. so definitely give it a good snug yeah anything higher than 10 foot pounds you'll start noticing bending or breaking so keep that in mind alternate from the inside out and keep an eye on how straight this is if it's crooked in any way and the uh, holes right here are not aligning right here the machine holes are not aligning right Definitely back off, straighten things up, and then go once again, alternate from the middle out while keeping an eye on this. And here we have a Signature Series 2-in-1 Martinez Rapid Square. Awesome to have three windows right here to the vial. Very beautiful. Hope to get this to good use in my tool shed soon. Definitely an upgrade to this and uh, awesome. Martinez definitely wants to keep these all USA made, everything from the vial to everything down to the science on this. So many different places to put your pencil, so many different options here and maybe a bottle opener in there somewhere. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so, Awesome, check it out, martinestools.com. The best hammers in the world in there too. For your framing needs, Martinez, you did a good job on this one. Thank you, sir. Super awesome. Thank you for watching and on to the next.